Hey there! In this video, I'll show you how you can perform a MacBook Air recovery and recover back all the data from its hard drive. Well, the most recommended way of recovering back data from your MacBook Air is by making use of a recovery software that is designed for MacBook Air. So if you're looking to recover back data from MacBook Air hard drive, then just visit this link and hit the download now button to freely download this recovery software for your MacBook Air. I run this software and I'll show you how you can recover back data using this software. So this is how the application looks like when it's launched on your Mac. So all you'll see on the main screen are three buttons at the bottom. They are recover files, recover photos and recover volumes or drives. In order to recover data from a MacBook Air hard drive, click on the third option that you see that is recover volumes or drives. On next screen, select volumes recovery. However, if you are looking to recover data from a formatted MacBook Air, then just click on the second option that you see here that is formatted or reformatted recovery. This option will let you recover back data from a formatted MacBook Air. However, in this video, I'm just dealing with recovering back data from a MacBook Air that is not formatted. So I'll go with the first option that I see here that is volumes recovery. On next screen, the software shows you the disk that is connected to your MacBook Air. So just select the disk from which you're looking to recover data and click on the next button to proceed ahead. Okay, and these are all the volumes that were found in the disk that was selected in the previous step. So on this screen, you'll find all the volumes that were present on your MacBook Air. So if you've deleted or even lost volumes from your Mac hard drive, then you'll find those volumes on this screen. So all you're supposed to do here is just select the volume or the partition from which you're looking to recover data and click on the next button that you see here. And here I'm supposed to select the scanning method for my Mac. All I find are two scanning methods. They are standard scan and advanced scan. Well, the first option is quite fast and will recover back my data in just a matter of few minutes. However, if standard scan couldn't recover my data, then I can go with the second option that is advanced scan, which is more powerful than the first scanning method. For this video, anyway, I'll go with the second option that is advanced scan. So I'll click on it. And here the software gives me a list of different file types which I would separately like to recover from my MacBook Air. For example, if I'm just looking to recover pictures, then I can just select this option, which will make sure that only the pictures are recovered from my MacBook Air's hard drive. However, in most of the cases, we might be looking to recover back the entire data from our MacBook. In such scenarios, I'll just have to skip this step by clicking on the skip button that I see down here. This will make sure that the entire data is recovered back from my Mac. I'll click on this option and I'll proceed ahead to recover the entire data from my Mac. And here you can see that the software begins the recovery process and will recover back the entire data from my MacBook Air. So all I'm supposed to do here is just wait for the recovery process to complete, after which I can save back all the data to a folder on my Mac. And once the recovery process is completed, I'll be given a list of different files and folders that were recovered from my MacBook Air. Now since I'm looking to restore this entire data that was recovered from my Mac, I'll have to select the root folder, which in turn selects this entire list that was recovered. Next, I'll click on the Save button that I see down here, which lets me save this entire list to a folder on my Mac. Here, I'll select a folder which I've already created on the desktop and click on Save. And here you can see that the software now begins to save this recovered data to this folder that was selected by me. I'll wait till the saving process is over, after which I'll go back to this target folder and check if the saving process was completed successfully. So here's the folder where all the recovered data is saved to. And here are all the recovered folders from my hard drive. So it's this simple to perform a MacBook Air recovery by making use of a software that is specifically designed to perform recovery on a MacBook Air. 
You can just download this software from the link that I provided below if you are looking to recover data from your MacBook Air. Thanks for watching.